previously. Ah. Shut the goddamn door. And so we go. Hello, friends. My name is Luna Knight, and welcome back to Corpse Party. We are going in. Ouch. What did I do? I have a scratch on my finger. We're going into chapter two. Um, let's do this shit. Let me guess the save file for chapter two. Okay. Well. So I guess I just have to new game each chapter. That's weird. But okay. I'll take it. View the chapter two opening. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I? <clears throat> Phew, that should do just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in two days. Why can't the boys' class rep ever take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Freaking Kish Kishinuma. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift was before was a chopstick, and he expects me to lug around a damn pommel horse. Mm. <laughs> Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Huh? What is? That booty you got. Why are you obsessed with asses? What? Yours is way cuter. Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But, of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. But, of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Hmm? Am I? Oh, I guess I'm not moving. Oh god. No. No! No! Sorry. Chapter 2. Mm. Wasn't that Nagashima's voice? And she was screaming. Hmm. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Oh. You mean, uh. Yeah. <gasps> uh. Shinazaki, it's all right. Please calm down. But you heard it outside her voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it's the building settling. I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay here, right here, okay? What do, Miss Shisa, 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 Wait, don't leave us. Shisa, 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 Shinazaki. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinazaki. Uh, okay. Or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety, I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No! Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. I just realized I wasn't centered. And that definitely doesn't help. I want to think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students. 
I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. Valor, thy name is education. Can I go back this way? Oh, um, I forgot what the buttons were. Heavenly Host Elementary noticed all faculty and students due to recent kidnappings. Caution is highly recommended during all daily activities. In each instance, the victim was taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware at all times. Principal Takamine Ya- Yanagi Hori. How horrible. Hey, there's a door here. Door is nailed shut and the nails are hammered in tight. It's not going to open through any normal means. Okay. Shelves are filled overflowing with long black hairs. The window is only a deep, uh, immutable darkness can be seen. <sighs> Miss Yue, I wonder if Shitoshi and the others are safe. They are. I'm sure of it. There's a purple thing down there. I can't get down there, though. Okay. Hey, there's a bucket here. There's a strange yellow fluid congealing inside this rusted bucket. Ew. There's a hair on me. Good lord. What's this? Damn it. There's something here. Crystal shining with faint purple glow is nestled among the debris in the ground. Take it? Sure. Wired power stone. It actually looked like what it was. Jesus fucking Christ. I think that really was a scream we heard, hmm? Did you find something? <clears throat> yeah, some kind of stone lying on the ground. Looks like a ruby, or no, probably an amethyst? Kishinuma, you can identify gemstones? No, not really. Shinazaki's the one to ask for that kind of stuff. That's so, well, maybe I should give it to her. Sure. This probably is not the best. Now it's probably not the best time for that. But will you take it and give it to her once she's calmed down a bit? Might make her feel a little better. No problem. Hand it over the power stone. I don't know what that does, but I don't need it. I don't think I need it. Maybe she's calmed down some. Nope. Oh, okay. That's fine. What are my headphones doing? There we go. Wait, is this the direction I can go? Um, this one? Nope. Turn home immediately, those who remain here. Remain here. We won't go hungry and die of starvation. That's terrifying. That reminds me, Port Monet is all alone. Must be one hungry kitty by now. He named her Cat Monet. Do, 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 do. Heavenly host, breaking news, serial kidnapping, and some murder. The past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloody scissors. Each of the corpses had its tongue severed and removed uh, in unique mutilations far too grotesque to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. I heard something about this once before, but I never realized just how horrific an incident it really was. Thunk. Huh? Why? Why can't I go out this door now? 3A door is locked. Okay. It's not going that way anytime soon. Do 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 do. Hmm? It's a key, isn't it? The label on the key reads 3A. Take it? Yeah. These stairs are out of order. No teachers allowed on the third floor. Okay. What's this? 
just want to let you guys know how absolutely terrified I am to play this game. Like, if you think of it from, like, the killer's point of view, uh, from, like, things are less scary, but when you don't even really understand what's going on, it's a lot more horrifying. Oh, hello. <clears throat> well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming and I have set out to find her. I see. Regrettably, as I keep telling people, that won't be possible. The school exists in an excess where multiple dimensions overlap. It is but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another, or... Maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely as they do. Considering this a fair warning, even if you should find the exact spot from which your student's scream emanated, she herself may not be there, and if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. Is it true that the other children... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? Hello? I got butt dialed. Who by all appearances are children by who by all appearances are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another sp space many hours previous. May have even been an echo from the future. Who's to say? With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. Doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Thank you. The shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting implement, kitchen knives, surgical tools, chisels, etc. All appear unusually sharp. With so many metal tools in one place, the cabinet must be exceptionally heavy. Oh, for the love of fuck. Step aside. Why don't you fuck off, you damn corporeal? Uh-oh. An earthquake? I don't like this at all. Eek! Oh, shit. In all the world, the most vile and trustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students, you're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. Uh, that, this really, really hurts. You're all the same, every last one of you, and I won't be taking in by your lies anymore. Taken in. When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance because you sure wouldn't want to get involved, have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem child and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them, you're just raging at them. That's not... I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. You're... You're wrong. Ah! Uh. All of your students are destined to starve to death in this godforsaken hall. So if they don't succumb to desperation and kill them first. Can't talk. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breath. Yep. Ugh. Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. <laughs> Come again? Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me. Just please, spare their lives. They're not your children and you're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar, did you know when you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity? And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, imaginable, unimaginable. And you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forevermore. <coughs> Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me and I'll consider sparing your life. Don't you harm our hair on their heads, you hear me? One stubborn little bitch. <coughs> mm. 
This is excruciating. I think my ridge cave is broken. Feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Oh, poor baby. The corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Every body. Live. I love you all. Aw, what's Shishido? Meanwhile. Whoa, another earthquake. I think it's over. Sorry, I don't mean to keep hitting my mic. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We gotta search for Miss Shishido. What if she goes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? We're going. Uh, all, all right already, but if we don't have any luck fighting, let's make sure we come back to this room, okay? How about we leave her a note? Shinazaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen. Uh, no paper, huh? Well, there's always a teacher's desk. Miss Yue, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Blunt kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. O okay, okay. Just don't cry. We'll find her. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to go down here again like I did the other time. I don't know if there's a time limit, but... I want to see if I can do anything different with Yoshiki and Ayumi. Nope. I should know. I don't think I could have gone down there last time. Do, 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 do. Well, I'm not getting through that way. What? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? Mr. Shishido, where are you? I'm really worried. I have a feeling I needed to keep that power stone. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. It's cold in here. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Shinazaki, do you have any more of those candles like the one you lit during the ghost story? I do. How about we light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Sure. If I kept the power stone, would she still be alive? The candle of mine is really kind of warm. Yeah, it is. Hey. Door is open. Still can't go that way. Really think I could have saved Miss UA. Oh. I kinda wanna start a new story and just see what happens. You acquire the name tags of the corpses in the school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. That's terrifying. Oh god. What the fuck? Ouch. Okay. Crude picture seemingly drawn by a child joins one of the shelves. Or smiling children are surrounding an adult and mer merrily stabbing him to death. Uh, how unsettling. Those are rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on the shelves. Okay. I'm um, just gonna. Oh, anything here? Nope. I kind of want to exit and try keeping the power stone. So, uh, I have a feeling she's dead. Alright. Let's see what happens. Um, I just saved. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go save. And I'll save on this slot. And then I'll have that file. And maybe keeping the power stone will do something. I don't know. Okay. 
quit. Yes. I'm going to try starting a new game and skipping through all the dialogue. <clears throat> do, do, do. View the chapter 2 opening. You know. Kind of just want to see what happens. If it'll make a difference to keep the power stone. All right. Yes, pick it up. Yep. Gemstone. I'll g I'm going to keep it. All right. And everything else, I'm going to do the same. Oh, yeah. See? This wasn't available last time. I just want to see if it makes a difference. If it doesn't, I'll go back to my previous save. But now I'll have two saves. One with her being... Um, having the gemstone and one with her not. I'm still going to read everything. Oh, please stop getting stuck. Yep, pick it up. And do that. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Noises. Okay. Portmonet. Now I'm back here. Did I look at the shelf last time? Uh, ew. Yeah, it's gross. Door opens. Here we go. Now we can go up here. Okay. Awesome. Now I can go this way. All right. Let's see if anything changes. Damn corporeals. Yep, school teachers, well being, yep. Dying again. Any last words? Yep. Okay. Do you know if die? Yep. Or shoot to death. That's what you really want. Spare my students. Don't you have They're on their heads. She's still dead. She's still dead. I have a feeling I'm supposed to do something else. I really do. I don't know. Maybe I can like save her or something. I'll at least get the other save file. Maybe I'm supposed to like go talk to Ayumi with the stone or something. I don't know.
Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see. I'm just going to skip through this again. Now let's see here. I'm gonna look real quick. This will do anything. One time protection gets me. Okay, so, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna quit and go back to where I was before. I can't go that way, so I guess I'm going past the pee bucket. And I can also go upstairs, but I want to go down here first and see what's up. Oh, I already went upstairs. It was the custodian. That's right. All right, so this was all broken before. I don't know why it's fixed now. Ayumi, you okay? What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinazaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in Tui who really isn't intimately familiar with them, right? Two nine. You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for a reason. <clears throat> so how about we light some candles like this all throughout the school building? Oh. We like signal falls from Machida and the others. Let them know that you, me, and Ms. Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. <coughs> Seems more like she's trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better. Come on, let's go. Okay, so that's how the saving candles get there. That explains why it wasn't there earlier. Alright, so I'm just gonna save here again. If I have to make a decision, I'll uh, save in a different slot. Well, that's some horrifying music. Living friends who are uh, able to retain their sanity and reason. Will be your final ray of hope. Okay, that's lovely. Uh, down. <laughs> hey, it's a lunchroom. I don't think I was able to go here with Naomi. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the world behind your back still there? Oh, that's lovely. Hey. The front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Seeing daylight outside must be awful. Alright. 
Oh boy. Yeah. These are uh, human bones. Oh god no. Breathe. Breathe, Ayumi. It's okay. Hey. <coughs> oh god, she threw up. Are, are you okay, Shinazaki? Oh, I'll be fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little. <coughs> Come on, we have to find Miss Shishido. I yeah. Where the hell is Satoshi? If he were here, I bet Shinazaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Uh, all right, already. These appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals the student ID name tag. Byakuden, senior high school, class 2-4, Kai Shibita. Kizami. Did, did you just hear? You have to get away from here. Okay. Um... Tomihiro Okawa. Um, Sato Fukuroi. Uh, Hikari Kirigami. Okay. I've uh, got name tags. I'll bring them back eventually. It looks like I can't get across here normally. Oh boy. That's a red skeleton. Victim's memoirs one of five. I ate my friend today. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here, so we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of rock, paper, paper, scissors, rock. Loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst. Her meat was supple and satisfying. But that blood in the meat was once my friend. Up until a few hours before, I'd been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking this food used to be a person. Right before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying, and I couldn't stop. I wanted part of her to be with me even after she died, so I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. There are decaying skeletal remains here about the size of a middle school student. The process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone, and there are no means of readily identifying gender on sight. Uh, Amy Kadoi. Kado. Uh, I got a name tag. What, what the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. A Ayumi? Hey, Shinazaki? My head is splitting. <clears throat> Are you okay? We shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be here. Looks like there's something in here, though, in the back. Hey! Ack, what the hell? Stay back! Yeah! D don't scare me like that, jeez. You absolutely positively must not look into his eyes, okay? Okay. Arrested bloodstoked nail puller sitting on top of the desk. Take it. Sure. Fire nail puller. I can't get to that, so I'll just. Yep. Bye, though. She told me not to look into your eyes, so I'm not gonna. So, yeah. Well, that was terrifying. Four frame photos here of small children who seem to be around elementary school age. Cool. Yep, I already got your ID. Alright. Um, ugh. Let's not step on that. What's down the... Um, there's doors missing here. Well, this looks horrifying. Hey. It's a red door up there. Based on the long strands of hair scattered around, there are likely the remains of a female student. Hastily written note on the ground, its writer seems to have struggled with it as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read. Why, sister? 
It hurts. After I die, the pain will continue forever. No. No. Um, oh shit. Sis, you lied to me. You're going to leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. I hate you, sister. It hurts. I'm sorry. Studying his closet, the door is locked. There's no noise like that of a static of a TV coming from within. I can't fucking talk to save my life. Are you gonna be alright, little dude? Alright, I guess not. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Can I go in here? Nope. Alright. I guess I'm going back down this way. Back by the skeletons. Are you me? What is it? Ugh. Are you okay? Uh, Ayumi. Hey, Shinazaki, where are you going? Sh Hello? What the hell was that about? Yo! Hey! Excuse me. I'm talking to you. You. There you are. What are you. No one is saying that! What? Today's my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. We're going out together to celebrate. What are you doing? That's disgusting. Uh. Why are you both looking at me like that? Hey. Sh Shinazaki. Hey. Kishinuma. What's wrong? Um, you were saying some pretty weird stuff just now. Was she not aware? Must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all to hell by now. Um, <clears throat> never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. It's totally fine. Nothing here. Oh, wait, there's some papers over here that wasn't here earlier. Victims of Mars two of five. I hold in the palm of my hand a piece of a person's body, a piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to her head, and now I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs, eyeballs were so heavy. And I just kept squishing it in the palm of my hand as if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Okay. Well, that was new. Um, hello. Eek. Oh god, hello. What the? The power stone on Yushiki's pocket suddenly and spontaneously shattered. I think I just heard Miss Yue's voice. Did I save you, she said, but it couldn't be, could it? Can I not go through here? It's the ghost from before. It left the classroom. Don't let it touch you. Can I go back up here? And find more memoirs? Well, I wasted the... Power stone, I guess. I guess that's what it was supposed to do was save me. I didn't realize I was I knew I had to get away. I didn't realize it was you know, gonna freaking kill me. Can I go in here? No. Oh well. If the ghost guy left the classroom, does that mean I can go further where that crank thing is? Maybe. Hey. You left? I don't like this room. Nope. This music is tripping me the fuck out. For real. Well, I went back in there. Nothing new. As long as they don't touch the ghost, I guess I'm fine. Oh god. Come on, kiddo. So he follows me very slowly. I see. Well. Fine. You just keep chasing me, dude. It's totally cool. I'm totally not going to get creeped out by that at all. Alright. Now we got another save. Oh, 
hopefully I won't need to go back. Those are shoes. Can't look at that. Can I go back in here and find anything? Like some more memoir notes or something? Like it said that if I go back where I already was, then I might be able to find like memoirs and stuff, right? I know I need the nail puller in this room, but I'm going to see if there's a memoir and then... No? Okay. So let's go back up here then. Let me go to the custodian's closet. <clears throat> Maybe it'll let me. Yo, I have some name tags for you. Okay, I guess I have to take it to the red closet. I thought I could go in there, but I guess not. I thought the custodian was in that room. I'll bet. Ghosty doesn't seem to be chasing me yet, at least, so that's nice. Are there any victims' memoirs in here? No. Okay. I'm actually gonna save on the bottom one. I don't know why. Can I go to the right? Nope. No puller it is. Well, we've made progress, at least. All right, let's go down here. We'll use the nail puller. Hopefully Mr. Ghost isn't chasing me very slowly. Can't be scarier than Mr. X though, or Mr. whatever his name is. Yep, use the nail puller. Go in. Victim's memoir notes, okay. He's a scrap paper pinned to the wall. You notice direct spots dotting the page and realize they're tear stains. Oh boy. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses amongst them. Uh, curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed, and do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. All right. So I can read all but the last one, right? I've been searching every last corner of the school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her. But it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. I'm unbearably thirsty, so hungry that it feels like my stomach is eating itself. And every moment it gets worse. It's like a big black mass in front of me that's slowly closing in. I can't keep ignoring it. I've started talking to the eyeball in my hand to help stay focused and maintain my sanity. That's how you stay sane, obviously. If it's not a volleyball, it's an eyeball. Stop looking at me like that. I swear I'll find us a way out of here. I have to make sure I tell your family what you did for me. Yeah, I'm sure they'll love that. Appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it. Yeah. Hey! It's that other classroom. I can go there now. And do that. Yay, it's budged. Or it won't budge. It's English. It's Englishing. All over the place. So much English. Alright, so I can't read the last victim's memoirs. So once I find the fourth one, that's it. Don't read any more. I'm sure they'll all look the same, so. I'm gonna save on the top. I'm gonna alternate between saving on the top and the bottom in case there's something that I need to like change. And I'm gonna keep that first save. Um, because that's before I got the power crystal. Excuse me. Just gonna ignore you if you don't mind. Creepy little ghost boy thing. I wonder if there's gonna be more victims' memoirs in here now. Oh my god, this music. Appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system, transparent threads, lever, yes. What does that do? Oh, cool, I can go that way now. Awesome. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that information, but thank you. Ah, son of a fuck. All right, come here. Nope, I can't do that, I have to, God damn it. going on? It's pitch black. Shinazaki, Miss Yue, Satoshi, is anyone there? Man, where the hell am I? Am I dreaming or something? I can't move. It feels like walls all around me. Am I in a hole or something? Thunk. Uh, what the f- Who's? Thunk. 
Oh, oh stop. Dirt, gravel from above? Oh, stop. The hell I'm alive down here. You planning to suffocate me? My mouth is getting totally filled up. Ugh, blech. Oh, stop. Stop it. Can't breathe. Am I going to die like this? Why? Who, who would? This can't be happening. This isn't funny. Stop it. My eyes are really hurting. Can't breathe. Being buried alive. So if I load the one before I broke the crystal. Game over. Chapter 2. Wrong end. 1-4. Okay. Okay. Wrong end. All right, real quick before I do anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapter two, continue. I'm going to continue from this one. That way I'll still have the crystal. So, yeah. This will just be quick. Um, I'm just going to speed up this whole thing. Okay, <clears throat> before I go do the next pulley, um, I'm actually going to end that episode there now that I've caught back up to where I was and I still have the power crystal. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Learn that setting out.